Hi, everybody. I'm really pleased to be able to talk to you and share with you some of our excitement about the phase three clinical trial on prodopidine and its evidence for uh, uh, some hope for treatment of HD. Prodopidine is in tr clinical trials for HD and ALS. It's safe and tolerable, has a side effect profile similar to placebo. It's given twice a day once in the morning and once in the evening. And it's the first drug to show the ability to maintain total functional capacity in HD. It works by binding and agonizing the sigma-1 receptor. And we've shown that this effect may be durable even up to five years, which is the longest time that has been analyzed to date. The sigma-1 receptor is an important receptor in the brain. It plays a big role in the cell and neurons response to stress. And this uh, a mechanism has been shown to be neuroprotective by maintaining viability of neurons, enhancing neuronal health by enhancing energy production, increases the connectivity in, in the brain by improving spines and decreases stress and neuroinflammation. We've shown that this drug in Huntington disease models in vitro and in vivo, enhances autophagy and enhances energy production, decrease cellular stress by enhancing mitochondrial function and has big impact on neuronal connectivity. And in the end result also has impact in these models in promoting neuronal viability. And that uh, uh, may be associated, may be the mechanism by which it maintains various functions as seen in the TFC. Now the TFC is a stable total functional capacity which measures the abilities of patients working, maintaining finances, doing activities of daily living and who looks after these patients and where they looked after. It goes down about one point per year. There's no placebo response. And here you can see in different studies, both placebo and observational, where the TFC in early HD patients with a TFC at baseline of seven to 13 goes down about one a year. There've been new, numerous treatments that have assessed TFC as an endpoint. And here you can see uh, um, different drugs and also the Roche trial using antisense. Also you had TFC as a primary endpoint, but the only drug to show maintenance of TFC thus far in exploratory studies in phase two has been predopidine. This was some of the data uh, of uh, uh, looking at uh, TFC where placebo went down about one per year and patients in predopidine maintained their TFC in the prior exploratory study. So when you look at this also, and this is open label, just look at some impact over time and what you can see is over time, you see the predopidine goes down much less than seen in a controlled placebo group. Uh, again, suggesting that this effect may be long-standing. The drug has been treated, uh, used before in patients with Huntington disease and have sound, been shown to be safe and very tolerable. And so the proof HD study is to test this hypothesis. It's a double-blind placebo-controlled two-arm study. The primary objective is to assess the effect of predopity and on functional decline at 65 weeks. A total of 480 patients are being randomized, 240 patients per arm. And those patients who complete the double-blind study can enroll into the open label where they will receive predopidine and, and those will come off placebo. The trial started in October 2020. We have uh, uh, all sites will be activated by the end of June. All American, North American sites, including five in Canada and 25 in, in the United States have been activated. We have about 157 patients randomized, although this changes every day. And in, interestingly, there've been no dropouts. Again, showing that the drug is highly tolerable and safe and no serious adverse events related to the drug. We're delighted to be partnered by, with the Huntington Study Group. The PIs of this study include Andrew Fagan in North America and Ralph Riemann in Europe. 
And the I joined by very reputed and outstanding co-PI, Sandra Kostick in the United States, and Ann Rosser as the co-PI for Europe. This study has been formally endorsed by the EHDN and is well underway. So we invite you to visit our booth, ask many questions. We're delighted to, uh, to be there and look forward to interacting with you as part of the uh, HSG annual meeting and the HDSA annual meeting, uh, which is ongoing. Thank you all very much.